be because you hear Russ take his shots and then you hear Frank Vogel, he fires right back. You know, hey, he might be in there, but I'm going yeah. with the guys who is playing the best basketball. And when we think about last night, look, I, you, you know what? A lot of people were overreacting about, oh, they played the Blazers and they shouldn't have lost that game. Look, here's the thing that goes on inside the locker room during this point of time of the season. When, when your name is getting mentioned in trades and it's getting close to the deadline, the spirit is not there. Mm. You know, guys don't know what to expect. So you're really walking into this arena saying, let me just get this game out the way. LeBron James has six turnovers, I believe, that were very uncharacteristic, unforced. His mind wasn't there. And you heard his post-game interview. Mm -hmm. I'm not making excuses for, for the Lakers. I'm just taking people behind the scenes because the first thing people always re was ready to say is, oh, you can't blame that on Russ when you don't really know what's going on. Guys are already on the phone with their agents and saying, hey, you got to be aware. You got, might get traded. Yeah. So how do you expect them to go out there on the, and put – everything on the line for that organization. And, and you're right, Richard. Body language was telling us a lot in Brooklyn the last 10 or so games, and body language in Los Angeles is telling us a lot. But the difference here is that you have two stars, at least three available, right? Russ, if he's not playing at, you know, at the end of the game, that's, that's difficult. But you're still getting LeBron James healthy, who not too long ago said he's in the best offensive groove of his career. You've got Anthony Davis back, which you should make precious of the time, same way we talk about making precious of Joel Embiid's time. And Ramona, you said maybe you want to do something to do something. The way you change those things, it might be a small thing, adding someone in the locker room that can at least hold everyone accountable in a way that is positive because things seem, things seem so negative. And Malika, you asked about what can this team do if they don't get anyone. They can play some defense mm. because the best Lakers teams have been number one or number two in defensive rating in the last two games. Opponents have been getting about 60 points per game in the paint on them. I never thought that would be possible when AD is back there because he's someone we put in the conversations when healthy as an all-defensive player. You have these two stars that are showing up and getting their numbers, but now you need to get back to that Frank Vogel-esque type of identity because that's what won them a championship, and that's defense. You need to have Russ bought in on that. You need to have LeBron better, uh, you know, on that. I heard a break coming, so, so you know me. No, I can get the play change. But you know what? You're right, though, but that's why – Wings are so important. Yeah. That's why wings are so important. Like, to, for the Lakers, like, why you couldn't go get uh, Tory Craig? Like, why you ha why why Phoenix had to steal him for a couple picks? Why you couldn't figure out a way to go get a wing defender like him? Don't, the wings are so valuable. And right now, the Lakers have those old wings that you cooked three days ago that are just sitting on the stove. Well, let's check out this tweet from, from Pat Bev. I remember when someone said, all I do is run around and trick y'all. Well, what is my the boy is today? the real magician this what year. What is the thing is today? Petty? Yeah. You stay petty, you ain't got to get petty. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Why are you saying that? Kevin today, Durant. Uh, yeah. What I'm saying for today, you, that's well, always. That's every day always of your for, life. That's for me. I'm talking about the rest of the, the brotherhood is joining in. We got KD <laughs> liking. We got KD liking Instagram Joel posts. Embiid. We got Joel Embiid changing his name to Troll Embiid. And now you got Patrick Beverly who's been saving that tweet for months. They're all for, years. They're he's first, been saving that tweet, and I love it. I first respect team went the smoke. All those guys. You oh mentioned. yeah, yeah. Well, that's all the thing about the, that's the thing about first the NBA. This is this is this is like yeah. a real live reality show that gets to play out on trade deadline. Day. What but you, love hip -hop? you guys, the mega trade, <laughs> it has happened. And the only thing left is Tim Legler.